Here, we'll discuss propositions. So first, what is a proposition? A proposition is just a declarative statement that is true or false. or false, but not both. So it's basically anything that you say. It could be true, it could be false. It's just nothing that can be both or doesn't have one of these two truth values. So we'll do some examples. First, George Washington was the first president of the United States. This is a declarative statement and we know that this is a true statement. Another example, the moon is made out of cheese. So this is also a proposition. This is a false proposition. We know that this is not true, but it is still a proposition. Another example could be a mathematical statement, like two plus five is equal to seven. This is a proposition. Three plus nine equal to four is also a proposition, even though it's not a true statement. Some examples of things that are not propositions. Something like, what is your name? Questions cannot be propositions. This is not anything that can have a true or false value. Another example. Read this book. Anytime anyone is telling someone what to do, that cannot have a true or false value. Whether or not you listened could, but actually the statement that they're declaring here is not a proposition. Another example is something like x plus three is equal to five. These statements are not propositions. In particular, the definition of a proposition said it had to be true or false, but not both. This one is both, mainly because we don't know what the value of x is. There are values of x for which it's true and values for which it's false. Propositional variables. So here, if we're gonna use letters, like P or Q or R, to denote propositions. So this is just how we'll denote them with lowercase letters. Every proposition has to have a truth value, since we said they have to be either true or false, but not both. So there are two possible truth values. It's either true, which we'll denote with a capital T, or false, which we'll denote with a capital F. 